Hair loss is a pretty common condition. While it is more common among older people, it may affect anybody, even young people. The average person loses 50 to 100 hairs every day. With 100,000 hairs on your head, even a minor hair loss is barely perceptible. New hair usually grows in to replace the hair that has fallen out, although this does not always happen. If hair loss runs in your family, you may have even greater hair loss. If you have this type of hair loss, you may develop bald patches if you are a man. If you're a woman, you may notice that the top of your head hair is slowly thinning. What causes hair loss? Susceptibility to baldness is most likely determined by a combination of genes. Some of these genes come from your mother's side of the family, while others come from your father's side. Identical twins lose hair at the same age, at the same pace, and in the same pattern. This suggests that hereditary factors play a larger role in hair loss than environmental factors. Myths about hair loss There are a lot of misconceptions regarding what causes hair loss. It's critical to distinguish reality from fiction when it comes to treating or preventing hair loss. The following hair loss myths are not true. When you use too much shampoo, you lose your hair. You've lost your hair as a result of coloring or perming it. You have dandruff, which leads to irreversible hair loss. Hats and wigs cause irreversible hair loss. You're anxious, and it's causing you to lose your hair permanently. Shaving causes your hair to regrow thicker. Turning your head upside down increases hair growth and improves circulation. Brushing your hair a particular number of times each week makes it healthier. Doctors aren't sure why certain hair follicles are programmed to develop faster than others. Hair loss can be caused by many different circumstances, and some of these are temporary. Hormones, such as androgen levels that are aberrant, male hormones normally produced by both men and women. Stress, illness, and childbirth can all cause temporary hair loss. Ringworm, which is caused by a fungal infection, can also result in hair loss. Treatments, such as chemotherapy drugs used in cancer treatment, blood thinners, beta-adrenergic blockers used to manage blood pressure and birth control pills, can cause temporary hair loss. Temporary hair loss can be caused by burns, injuries, and x-rays. Medical issues. Hair loss can be caused by thyroid problems, lupus, diabetes, iron deficiency anemia, eating disorders, and anemia. When the underlying problem is cured, the hair usually grows back. Diet. A low-protein or extremely calorie-restricted diet can also cause temporary hair loss. You won't always be able to stop your hair from falling out as you get older. However, there are treatments and therapies that might help to slow the process down. Before starting any at-home treatment, you should always consult your doctor. Here are 15 hair loss treatments to discuss with your doctor. 1. Medication Options The Food and Drug Administration FDA, has approved two medications to treat male pattern baldness. Minoxidil, Rogaine. Rogaine is offered over-the-counter as a liquid or foam. A variety of brands are accessible without a prescription from pharmacies. Drops are applied to the scalp and massaged in every morning and night. Hair regrowth takes around six months to show up. The outcome is also dependent on the correct application and dose. Finasteride, Propecia, Proscar. Finasteride is a medication that must be taken on a daily basis. One pill per day will prevent future hair loss in over 95% of men and stimulate partial hair regrowth in the other two-thirds. Regrowth may be noticeable after six months. It's only accessible with a doctor's prescription. Reduced libido and sexual dysfunction are two typical side effects. This happens to about 1% of men who use finasteride. 2. Saw Palmetto Saw Palmetto is a plant with small berries. According to reviews, it may aid hair growth. 3. Biotin Biotin is a vitamin that may be found in a variety of foods, including nuts, sweet potatoes, eggs, onions, oats, 
There is some evidence that taking biotin can actually decrease hair loss. 4. Onion Juice According to the research, people with patchy alopecia areata who used onion juice as a topical therapy had much greater regrowth. 5. Bringbradge Bringbradge, Eclipta alba, also known as false daisy, is a plant in the sunflower family. It's recognized as an herb that promotes hair development in Ayurvedic medicine. 6. Green Tea Green tea is another claimed natural treatment for hair loss. In a research, green tea's polyphenolic components were found to be effective as a natural hair loss treatment. 7. Hibiscus In India, Chinese hibiscus, Hibiscus rosus anensis, is commonly used to promote hair growth. 8. Oils Peppermint oil has been shown to help hair development in several studies. Rosemary oil has also been used to improve blood circulation in the scalp in the past. Coconut oil, castor oil, and olive oil are also recommended. 9. Give up smoking. If you smoke, you're certainly aware of the harmful impact smoking has on your lungs. But did you know that smoking may cause hair loss? 10. Scalp massage. Massages not only feel great, but they may also assist with hair loss. The hair follicles are stimulated by massaging the scalp. 11. A well-balanced diet. A healthy diet can help you keep your hair in good condition. Make sure your diet contains a wide range of vegetables, fruits, whole grains, unsaturated fats, and lean proteins. Limit your sugar consumption. Vitamins and minerals discovered in food are linked to healthy hair. Consider including the following. Iron-rich foods. Include lean meat, beans, green leafy vegetables, iron-fortified cereals, and eggs. Foods high in omega-3 fatty acids. Include salmon, mackerel, tuna, flax seeds, egg yolks, hemp seeds, and walnuts. High-protein foods. Include eggs, lean meats, and seafood. Lastly, ensure that you are getting enough water. 12. Hair Transplants Follicular unit transplantation and follicular unit extraction are the two most popular hair transplant methods. Follicular unit transplantation, FUT. FUT is the more traditional technique. It involves removing some skin, usually from the back of your head, where there is a lot of hair. The follicles are then removed from that strip of skin by a surgeon. Finally, the hair follicles are reinserted into the area of the scalp where you're losing hair. Follicular Unit Extraction FUE. In FUE, a surgeon extracts hair follicles from the scalp and transplants them to bald areas of the scalp. Direct hair implantation DHI, is a modified version of this method in which the treatment is completed with a specialized instrument. 13. Laser Treatment For some kinds of hair loss, such as alopecia areata, laser treatment is recommended to reduce the inflammation in follicles that prevents regrowth. 14. Platelet-rich plasma A dermatologist will take a sample of your blood and place it in a machine that will separate the plasma from the blood. The plasma is then injected into the areas of your scalp where you are losing hair. The entire operation takes around 10 minutes. The therapy is usually given once a month for three months, with a follow-up treatment every three to six months for the majority of patients. 15. Hair implants. Hair implants are typically permanent. However, you may need multiple implants depending on your goals. There are several treatments you may want to try for hair loss. These include OTC and prescription medications, hair implants, and home remedies. Talk with your doctor first. They can help you figure out the cause of your hair loss and what the best treatment option would be. Now, if there are any topics you'd like me to cover, write them down and I'll put them on my priority list. If you like my video, please press the like button and subscribe to my channel. Stay well, stay healthy. See you on better days.